everybody welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing my nails with this beetles gel polish kit and i'm going to show you guys everything that comes in here there's quite a bit of stuff and it was super cheap i think i only paid like 20 bucks for this whole kit and it comes with all of these polishes and it has this little miniature light which is so cute and it even says beetles on there i think that is so cool it's funny because i had wanted one of these lights so bad and i had got another kit that had i think it was a sexy mix kit and then i get another kit and it has a beetles lamp so now i have two of these little mini lights and i'm super excited i can't even open this thing right here okay but i scratched it um anyways so this is the little light that it comes with and um here's the little plug and then you have to use a uh, one of those uh usb boxes to plug the back in and then you're just ready to go so i'm not going to show it how it works today because i don't have a plug near me and it's just too much work to pull out my extension cord that's under my nail desk so here we have a top coat a base coat and then we have a matte top coat as well and then we have 12 colors so i'm gonna go ahead and start watching them this first color is 399 and it is a white color and it works super good um it goes on very smooth don't know if it crinkles yet but we'll find out here in a minute and then this color is 400 and it is so so pretty i love this color so much it is a gold glitter and this gold is just so perfect for like fall and like a christmas set it's like a yellow gold and it's so pretty then this next one is 401 and this one is kind of like a like a burnt orange kind of color i guess it's or like a caramel i don't know but i'm gonna be using this color today and then this next one is 402 and the top of the bottle it looks like it's a dark brown but it's really not it's more of i guess this is more of like a chocolate no i don't know but it's a brown but it does not match that top cap um so i'm also going to use this color too because i think it's really pretty and this next one is 403 i guess that one sorry that last one is more of like a car caramel kind of color so then this next one is a, like a red ish kind of color and it's kind of jelly ish looking um <laughs> I'm not the best, again, at describing colors. And then this one is 404. And this is more of like a plum kind of color. And this color is also kind of, it looks jelly-ish, but I don't know. We'll see how dark it goes after. And then this next one is 405. And this one is a dark brown. Um, so this one is actually a dark brown and it matches the cap it's of course it's not as dark as the cap color but um it's pretty dark and this next one is 406 and this color is also very pretty as well it's like a i don't know like a grayish bluish no it's more of a gray color and then this next one is 407 and this one is also a very beautiful glitter it's not like a fine glitter either it's kind of looks like a foil glitter it's really pretty and it's kind of chunky ish but it's pretty opaque and then this next one is 408 and this is a it's a dark green color again a perfect color for christmas um so i will be using this color when i do my christmas set and then this one is 409 and this one is like a purple yeah, it's like a purple color and it kind of looks like jelly color as well but i don't know we'll see how it looks after we put on a second coat so this one is 410 and this one is a black color and again we'll see how dark it goes on once we put on a second coat so they're kind of sheer um they're not very opaque some of these colors as you can see but some of them are so i'm going to be using those three colors so this is how it looks after we do a first coat and after we cure it. So I'm going to do a second coat and put the top coat and see how it looks. I'm going to do it off camera. 
so here is with the second coat and see some of those uh, jelly looking colors initially they are a lot darker so those two colors that i did right there i used the matte top coat and it actually worked really well i seen the matte go on like instantly and then the rest of them i used just the regular uh glossy top coat so um i mean they're very pretty but i really do love these three colors right here that gold and those two other colors next to it so that's what i'm going to be using for my fall set and again this is everything that you will get in this beetles kit and i will put the link down in the description so um we're gonna go ahead and start doing my nails and i started this hand i did actually record this hand but when i went to go watch it i like was totally out of frame the whole time so I'm going to start off with dehydrator and I'm using the Model 1's dehydrator. I've used this one before and I'm using these McCart tips. Um, they're full cover nails, but I'm going to use them as tips. So I'm also going to use their McCart nail glue and I put them on like about right there. So it's like halfway on my nail and they're like super long. So I did have to cut them and reshape them. So I also did that off camera. So now I'm going to go in with the Model 1's primer, and as you can see, the cap fell off, so I had to use just the tip of it. So we're going to start with this Burano, and it's the color Nude, and this is the Poly Gel, and we're also going to use their Slip Solution. So I'm just putting on my base coat, and then after I do that, I'm going to cure it in the light, and then we'll start doing my nails. So this is after coming out of the light and I love Burano's poly gel. It is so amazing. It's probably like my favorite poly gel. So this one, as you guys see in the pictures, I'm not going all the way. So I'm kind of like making like a slit, I guess, um, at the tip. So I'm just going to start by uh, patting this down and forming my nail. And it does kind of take me a minute. I did have to cut this. I had to cut a lot of the footage off of this one because if I left the whole way through playing, it would have taken me like 20 minutes. And you wouldn't even think, I don't know. I don't know why this took me so long. Super weird. So I did have to add some more because I didn't add enough initially. So then I really didn't want to have to go in after I cured it. So I just put it on while it was still wet. And it didn't really give me an issue. I was able to blend that back in pretty good. So that's what I'm doing here is I'm just going to finish patting this down until I get my desired, I guess, um, what do you call it, design. So I think I finally got it how I want it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cure that. And I don't know why that took me so long. So I'm taking off the, the tacky layer and I'm going to just file that line right there to make sure it's perfectly straight. And um, after I do that, we're gonna put some leaves right there. And I'm gonna be using the Yayogi Builder Gel. Um, well, these are the leaves that I'm using first of all. And I did show these in my last haul video. And um, so we're going to be using the Yayogi Builder Gel and it's in clear. And I'm just going to put a little bit down at the bottom just so I have like a sticky layer to work with and also I guess a slip layer. Um, so now I'm just placing on these leaves and I'm just going to use like three of them. And this, uh, this leaf set did come with a lot of colors but I don't need them all. <laughs> so I'm just going to use these three colors. Um, so after I do that, I'm going to use some foil as well, and I'll show you guys that here in a minute. So here is the foils that I'm going to be using, and um, I'm just going to use the gold ones, and I'm just going to place those randomly around where the leaves are at, and I'm not going to put anything where that poly gel is at, so that part's going to stay just plain and um, I'm just applying it right here. So now I'm going to use that Yayogi Builder Gel to um, cap it and I guess to make like my structure right there at the tip because there was nothing there. So 
This Yayogi Builder Gel, I'm using it because it's super clear. Poly gel, you just don't get this, this clearness with poly gel. Um, I don't have McCart poly gel, and I've heard that um, that poly gel is pretty clear, but I don't own any McCart, so I'm using the Builder Gel. And honestly, I, I really liked using this Builder Gel. I usually have problems, but I really didn't have a lot of issues. It was very simple. So now I just cured that, and now I'm done with this now. And I will file that and stuff later. So on these ones here, I'm just going to use the clear. And I'm going to be using the Gershon. And I don't know why. I'm, I'm not no specific reason as to why I'm using Gershon. I just never used this clear before. So I wanted to try it out. Um, so now I'm just going to shape my nails with this one. I did put a thin layer on here because we are going over it with um some more leaves and uh gonna also cap that with the yayogi builder gel and i don't want it to be super thick so i just put like a thin layer here so i did speed up the video that's why it looks like i'm going so fast um but uh i really don't work that fast so after i'm done curing that i'm going to just take off the tacky layer and i'm gonna file it so i did file that off camera um so now I'm going in with the Beatles base coat and I'm going to be mixing these two colors in uh, 401 and 402 and to know I didn't cure that base coat I left the base coat wet um, because I kind of wanted I don't know why I did that honestly I there was like no specific reason um, I just thought it would help kind of give it more of a blooming kind of effect I guess so I'm just going in one by one with these colors and I'm going all the way up to the tip of my nail and I'm just using this little small liner brush and I'm not really swirling. Um, I'm, I guess I don't really have like a set way of how I'm doing anything. I'm just kind of mixing it around um, until I guess I get a desired look <laughs> I don't know what else to call it but that's what I decided to do so now we're going in with the model ones and it's that foil gel um, this is my first time using it and now I'm gonna be using this uh, foil so I'm just randomly placing it and I'm so stupid you guys I didn't know <laughs> I didn't know that I was supposed to cure that Model 1's foil gel. I thought it was just going to dry. So I was wondering why it was still like super wet when I touched it. I was like, why isn't this drying for? But I think I was supposed to cure it um, and use like the sticky layer. I don't know. I haven't read the directions, but that's just what I'm assuming. And um, so now I'm just uh, placing these leaves randomly around on my nail until I get how I want it and after I do that now we're going back in with this Yayogi Builder Gel and I'm just capping it and I'm adding some more what do you call it like um, I guess more structure and um, again it was super easy to use I think this Builder Gel in the bottle is actually easier than the Builder Gel that comes in that little pot um, I definitely did enjoy using this and this is the first time I've ever used Yayogi's Builder in a bottle. So um, that's how that one looks. Now we're going to start on this one and I'm just going to go with clear and I'm just going to put a clear, um, I'm just building it with clear poly gel on the rest of these three fingers. And um, once I'm done doing that, I'm also going to file my nails off camera so um yeah i'll come back in here in a minute
Okay, so now that I'm done with that, I'm just going to go in with the Beatles Base Coat and I'm going to polish my nails. And the colors that I'm using are the 401, 400, and 402. So this one is the 401 and I'm just uh, polishing my nails, <laughs> as you can see. And then the next one I'm going to use is this 402 and I'm putting it on, I don't even know what this is, is this an index, index finger? <laughs> I'm like so retarded when it comes down to some of this stuff, like I don't even know what my fingers are. I just know like my pinky, my middle finger, and my thumb. The other ones, I have no idea. And um, now I'm using the 400, oh, no, 400, sorry. And this color, I love this gold. This gold is just, oh, it's so beautiful. So, and now I'm gonna cure it and just go back in with the same colors and put on a second coat. And these polishes actually did work really, really good. Um, I didn't have any problems with my polish crinkling. Um, it went on pretty smooth and this gold is very opaque. I mean, there's probably like a tiny little bit of sheerness to it, but I mean, that's pretty darn good for this gold uh, glitter. Um, so I'm going in with the matte top coat and I'm just gonna be using it on these two fingers here. And the matte top coat works so well. Um, it, it literally turned my nails matte like instantly when I put it in the light, so that's good. And I've already had my nails on for like four days, I think, and my nails are still matte. Um, so now I'm just going to go in with the regular top coat on my thumb. And then also on the other two fingers that have like the designs on there, I'm using regular top coat as well. Um, so anyways, yeah, the top coats also worked really good too my nails are still shiny um i don't have any crinkling um no peeling no chipping no cracks and like i said my nails are still matte which is amazing because last time i tried matte polish i think my nails stayed matte for like two or three days and that was it so that's what they all look like now i'm gonna use this model one's cuticle oil and I'm just applying that to all of my fingers. And um, I forgot to show myself putting the rhinestones on. But here is the finished look. And oh my gosh, these look so cute. Um, I, I know I'm super late on my autumn or fall nails. But hey, I got it done before the season was over. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to enter my giveaway. And um like comment subscribe subscribe sorry <laughs> i hope everybody has a great night and we'll see you next time